Good afternoon, Los Santos. Dan Dorfman here with Weasel News. The news you need to hear when you need to hear it. We're standing outside of Mission Row, uh, Los Santos Police Department, here with Lieutenant Jay Parker from uh, the Los Santos Police. And uh, Lieutenant Parker wanted to come down here and give you an opportunity to make a statement regarding the recent burglary activities that we've seen rock the city, particularly over there in Mirror Park and uh, La Mesa area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my officers are more than well aware of the uh, going on down there. Uh, we've actually uh, specifically had the officers patrol the area to make sure that it's safe, as well as uh, nearly every time that we've had a, an incident up there, we've uh, managed to catch somebody and uh, set, them, uh, set them on the right path over Bolingbroke. Now, are the, uh, are the stream, stream of robberies, or are they uh, affiliated with any type of uh, uh, gang activity, um, or is it uh, just a group of individuals acting on their own? No, right now it's just uh, individuals that are trying to make a quick buck or, you know, uh, score a, a TV from uh, somebody more well off. Uh, there's no kind of organization right now, just uh, quick smash and grabs, uh, not really any violent things, just the more trying to get a quick buck. Now, as always, you know, the public can be out there helping you out as, uh, you know, the events kind of unfold in the late hours. Uh, what should the public do if they see some suspicious activity in their neighborhood? Yeah, get to, get yourself to safety. Call nine one one immediately, um, and just uh, inform and report to us what's going on. Never uh, approach or try to involve yourself. That's a uh, that's a bad, bad way to do things. But uh, just as long as you're reporting to us, give us much information. We're we're going to be there as quick as uh, as quick as we can be to to uh, help you guys out. And that means uh, just for clarification for the people out there that uh, you know, kind of listening to this for the first time, that means don't hide in a bush with your shotgun, right? <laughs> no, please don't do that. Uh, definitely a duty to retreat here. Uh, keep your weapons, you know, if you have a weapon, keep it on you for your own protection, but don't uh, try to don't try to be a hero. Uh, let us handle it for you. We're, uh, we're, we're trained and authorized to do it. Very good. Thank you very much, Lieutenant. Uh, also wanted to follow up about, uh, you know, there's been a lot of uh, driving, a lot of complaints about uh, particularly Go Postal and, um, you know, trash del uh, delivery uh, within the city. Especially trash delivery being a public uh, kind of a public um, office uh, for water and sewer. I wonder if you have a statement there about, uh, you know, driving conditions and a lot of people are getting worried. There's a lot of injuries up at the uh, up at the hospital uh, with people getting run over by these vehicles. Yeah, Dan, we uh, we're more than aware of the uh, people taking advantage of the, the stoplights and the speeding, uh, especially with those large uh, vehicles. But uh, I have officers being trained even just now, even now that are uh, being trained specifically just to pull people over. And those people that are taking advantage of the lights are going to start finding their uh, their pay is going to start being uh, a little less if they have to pay all these parking tickets or, you know, uh, lose their license. Well, give, give me kind of an idea, if you wouldn't mind. I mean, I'm just asking off the top of your head, but, you know, if you're one of those, uh, I don't know what the uh, the official term on that would be, kind of a dumbass parking in a red zone, what would that, uh, what kind of fine would that be? I imagine that's uh, it's going to be a pretty decent fine. Yeah, actually, uh, we're uh, we're still going through the laws and ordinances with uh, our governor and our uh, attorney generals, and uh, you can bet that... Uh, uh, once uh, we're we're uh, a little more stable, those fines are going to start, uh, you know, rising up there. But uh, right now, it's definitely going to take some chunks out of your out of the pay. So it's almost not even worth to uh, you know, be silly with your car. Follow the law, follow the road, and uh, you know you'll, you'll make it home to buy your, your whatever you need. All right, and 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 people that are going to be consistently violating the law are there? Are they going to have to go? What kind of remedial steps do you think the court's going to be ordering for these people as they? Uh, uh, ignore traffic signals and so on and so forth. Yeah, I mean, the, you can absolutely lose your license if you're a continual uh, hazard on the road or you, you recruit too many points. Uh, with our new uh, attorney general and obviously our governor and whatnot, I, f I, I foresee that in the future, uh, you, the judges will be uh, making uh, driving school mandatory to get those things back. So uh, keep that in mind if you uh, continue to drive uh, like a maniac. And we're talking about that new driving school down there in uh, Davis, where I understand that they're, they are not hiring any pretty-looking women down there. So it is not <laughs> going to be a pleasant event. All right. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Parker. Appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, concludes the breaking news with Weasel News, the news you need to hear when you need to hear it. Steven, back to you in the studio. And, hey, have the interns get the coffee ready. I'm thirsty as hell. <laughs>